Well, dang, things just seem to be getting worser and worser for R. Kelly. Yeah, I know it's not a word. Let's talk about it. Welcome back to another episode with your host, Tabitha. Here is where we have some straightforward discussions on political and social news, television show recaps, and of course, everyone's favorite, celebrity gossip. These discussions are to simply chat about what's happening in the world around us. The intent is not to be mean or malicious, but to remain informed on the more serious topics and to just have a little fun discussing the craziness that surround our favorite celebrities. So grab yourself a drink and a snack. Sit back and relax and enjoy the conversation. Hey, my beautiful souls, welcome back to another episode. I am your host, your girl, Tabitha, and you too has kicked R. Kelly off of its platform. Baby, it just gets worse and worse. Before we get into it, let me welcome all of my new subscribers. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. If you've come across this video and are not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. I would love to have you. We talk about a plethora of things. We talk about some of my favorite reality TV shows. Right now we're talking about... Real Housewives of Potomac. We also talk about political news. We talk about social injustices. We talk about what's popping off over on social media. And of course, we talk about celebrity gossip. Uh, We don't have a lot of mess. We don't have a lot of drama. So if this is a place where you like to be, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. I would love to have you. Yes, YouTube has shut down r kelly's official video channels on their platform this is breaking news the new york times just put out an article about it maybe a couple of hours ago let's get into what the new york times is reporting a week after r kelly's conviction on federal racketeering and sex trafficking charges YouTube has deleted two of the R&B star official video channels, but is not banning his music entirely. Well, how else would you, how else would you get the music on YouTube? I mean, a content creator can play R. Kelly's music in their video, but that video, that video of that content creator would be demonetized so i'm guessing that's a way that you would be able to hear r kelly's music on the platform Hmm. moving on quote we can confirm that we have terminated two channels linked to r kelly in accordance with our creator responsibility guidelines end quote this is from ivy Choi. A YouTube spokesperson, she issued a statement. According to YouTube's guidelines, it may shut down the channels of people accused of very serious offenses if they have been convicted of or pleaded guilty to crimes and if their content is closely related to those crimes. You know, when I first started that sentence, and they're they're referring to their YouTube guidelines stating that a, a channel may be shut down uh, of people accused of very, uh, very serious offenses. I immediately thought about James Charles, a very well-known, very popular YouTube content creator that has been accused of some very serious crimes. I can also think about the Paul brothers, Logan and Jake Paul. They both have been accused of some very serious crimes and are also well known here on YouTube, blessed with millions upon millions 
of followers. And there are so many more white content creators on this platform that have been blessed by YouTube with millions upon millions of followers that have displayed abhorrent behavior time and time and time and time again. And yet, their YouTube channels have not been terminated. I just had to throw that in there. I just had to throw that in there to, to remind you of the inequality when it comes to these platforms and how they dole out punishment to their content creators. Moving on with the article on Tuesday, a news report in Bloomberg quoted an internal memo by Nicole Austin, YouTube's head of legal, which said, quote, egregious actions committed by R. Kelly warrant penalties beyond standard enforcement measures due to a potential to cause widespread harm, end quote. If you don't know who James Charles is, I invite you to Google him and then learn what he has been accused of and tell me if that isn't considered egregious actions. Hmm. And yet he's still allowed on this platform. In the past, YouTube has removed the channels of creators like Austin Jones, who made popular and acapella videos in 2019. He pleaded guilty to having underage girls send him actually explicit videos. Y'all can insert the S. YouTube stance may be the first significant action taken by a major tech platform to remove Kelly's content, but it is not a total ban, not a total ban. Like I said, I'm guessing content creators can play music in their videos that um, come from R. Kelly and maybe those videos won't be snatched up by the YouTube algorithm, but we'll see. Um, So it's not a total ban. However, they have shut down his YouTube channels. Kelly's music is still allowed on YouTube through user generated content. That's basically what I said, like cover versions of his songs and on Kelly's topic page would allow which allows streaming of his recordings while a static image of his album artwork is displayed. So you can play us content creators can play his music. He just can't make money from his music. And those two channels that he had was a revenue source for him. And so YouTube basically shut those channels down. Um, And Kelly's music remains fully available on YouTube Music, a separate streaming platform that competes more directly with audio outlets like Spotify and Apple Music. Last month, Google said that there are about 50 million subscribers to YouTube Music and YouTube Premium, which allows viewers to skip ads on videos. When asked why Kelly's music remains available on YouTube Music and why that platform has different creator responsibility guidelines, a YouTube spokesperson said only, quote, Our creator responsibility guidelines are enforced for channels that are linked to the creator. This is consistent with how we've enforced our policies in the past. So these end quote. So these two channels that they're taking down, they are directly linked to R. Kelly. It is a source of revenue for him and they don't they don't want that on their platform. The answer may lie in the historical roots of YouTube as a platform for individual individual creators who often operate without a corporate intermediary like a record company and thus maintain more direct control over their video channels. But for most major recording artists like Kelly, their record companies supply their music videos to YouTube through Vivo 
which is jointly owned by Google and the major record companies. In 2018, Spotify briefly instituted a policy banning the promotion of artists, including Kelly, whose personal conduct was deemed hateful. The policy was rescinded after objections in the music industry that it was vague and seemed to inordinately affect artists of color. Mm hmm. I'm not in no way saying that what R. Ke- R. Kelly did is acceptable, is unacceptable. He is right where he should be behind bars. I'm just pointing out the inequality and in how these platforms dole out punishment. Google James Charles and see what he has been accused of doing. Proof and receipts provided. And yet, he's still on this platform. Since then, there has been little attempt to police the content of musicians accused of serious misconduct to the dismay of many activists. Kelly's music remains widely available on other major streaming platforms like Apple Music, Spotify, Amazon Music, and has been included on on hundreds of official playlists on those services. On Spotify, Kelly's songs have recently drawn an average of about 5 million streams each month. And he makes money from each one of those streams. I don't, I no longer have any R. Kelly music. I removed him from my playlists a long, long time ago. So he will continue to make money as long as people can stream his music. But on, on YouTube, uh yes, he won't be making any money from YouTube. Right? The content creator side. However, he can make music or money through YouTube music or whatever they call it. Y'all let me know your thoughts. Get down in the comments section. Baby, when karma comes around and it's time to pay the piper <laughs> pun intended. Uh yeah. Yeah, you may not like that comeuppance. All right, y'all. Y'all be safe. I'll see y'all in the next one. Thank you for tuning in to the conversation. Make sure you subscribe and rate the episode. And to stay connected with Tabitha, head on over and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's Tabitha. And you can also follow on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. All the links will be available in the more info box. Until next time, be good to yourselves. And each other. And each other.